Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Monday, the 25th day of April 2022. And our topic for today is Follow Jesus Closely, Part 2. Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Savior, our Redeemer, our Friend, the one who gave himself up for us, we are eternally grateful. We thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. Thank you for the victory that we now have. Even though we were undeserving, you still loved us. We say thank you. We have come to learn at your feet today again. We acknowledge that you are the wisdom of God. We ask that you would speak to us and let these words minister life and transformation to us. Let our minds be renewed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm 26 verse 5. Psalm 26 verse 5 reads, I have hated the congregation of evil doers." And will not sit with the wicked. Psalm 26, verse 5. Our scripture reading for today is from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, from verse 14 to 18. 2 Corinthians 6, verse 14 to 18 reads, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement had the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God had said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today one more time is Follow Jesus Closely, Part 2. And in the body of our devotional today, our Father and the Lord tells us, in continuation to our inquiry from yesterday into why Peter denied Jesus, let us look at Mark chapter 14 verse 54 again. It reads, And Peter followed him afar off, even into the palace of the high priest. And he sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. When Peter followed Jesus from afar into the palace of the high priest, he chose to sit with the servants. Who were these servants? Mark chapter 14 verse 65 gives us an insight into the kind of people they were. It reads, And some began to spit on him, and to cover his face, and to buffet him, and to say unto him, Prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. These servants were the same ones striking Jesus with the palms of their hands, and Peter was sitting with them. In Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16, the Bible talks about the congregation of the dead. This is a congregation of people that do things against the will of God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were able to stand strong, refusing to deny their God because they were in the company of fellow believers and not unbelievers. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33 says, Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. If you spend a lot of time with people who are always talking about the latest clothes and television shows, gossiping about others, planning on how to commit sin right there in front of you, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33 says, They would corrupt you. The more of such sinful and worldly conversations you expose yourself to, the weaker your commitment to Christ would be. Eventually, you would find yourself doing things that you have earlier vowed never to do. Leave the congregation of the dead. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 instructs you thus. It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic one more time for today is follow Jesus closely, part two. 
and yesterday we saw the part one of our topic where we were made to understand the attitude of Peter that made it easy for him to deny our Lord Jesus Christ. We learned that he followed our Lord Jesus at a distance and although he was following him, he was following him afar off. The implication of this is that it became easy for him to disassociate himself from our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was faced with a little challenge, he gave in to it. We learned yesterday that many people follow our Lord Jesus Christ from afar off because they do not want to be identified with him. They do not want to be tagged as a Christian fanatic. They still want the freedom to once in a while engage in some acts. So they keep their distance. We however learned yesterday that when you let people know from the onset that you are a child of God, they would never bring some certain kind of deals and suggestions your way because they know your stand. But when your position is not clear, temptations would keep coming from all corners. Praise the Lord. Today we have before us the topic Follow Jesus Closely Part 2. And still on the story of Peter's denial, our Father in the Lord narrows in to let us see even more reasons why Peter denied our Lord Jesus Christ. And we learn from today's devotional that not only was he following afar off, he also dwelled among the wrong company. And scripture tells us rightly that evil communication would always corrupt good manners. Today's message tells us clearly without doubt that we must watch the kind of association that we keep, the kind of people we call friends, those that we spend time with, those that we allow into our inner circle. And one of the reasons is because, consciously or unconsciously, we gradually pour into ourselves. We begin to look, speak and act like them. We begin to entertain their values. Our minds begin to become one. So when we are joined with the wrong kind of people, it becomes an unequal yoke. And scripture tells us, like we already see in our devotional today, that we should not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Righteousness has no fellowship with unrighteousness. There is no communion, no agreement between light and darkness. If your association is not fanning you into flames for Christ, then watch it. They are definitely draining the little deposit of God that is left in your life. Peter chose to sit with the servants, and before we knew it, he was acting out like them. While the servants were spitting on our Lord Jesus and making a mockery of him, Peter was also smiting him by denying him publicly. One of the dangers of keeping an evil company is that they would never see the evil in doing wrong. As a matter of fact, they would cheer you on to do even more. It could get so bad that the remnant of the conscience, the voice of the Spirit of God in the heart of the believer in their midst could be snuffed out. It could be silenced and deadened. So watch carefully to ensure that you are not keeping company with fire extinguishers. Those who would not let you to boldly burn for our Lord Jesus Christ and would still try to put out the little fire that is left. Be mindful of them. I would also like to add that keeping the wrong kind of company does not just happen in a day. And the book of Psalm chapter 1 verse 1 shows us how this happens. It reads, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. You would notice that this is progressional. He's first of all walking in their counsel, then he takes the next step to stand in their way and then becomes a full-blown member by sitting in their seat. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus. However, the man who keeps the right kind of company is described in verse 3 of the same Psalm chapter 1. It tells us that he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. This man would bring forth his fruit in his season, and his leaf shall not wither. Whatsoever this man does, he shall prosper. This definitely looks like a description of you. And I pray for us today in the name of Jesus that every form of evil association in our lives is destroyed. We delight in the law of the Lord and we follow him step by step in the way in Jesus' name. We'd bow our heads now and pray. We'd say, Father, whatever wrong kind of association I may have involved myself, by your mercy today let they be broken in the name of Jesus. Pray today and bring to an end every kind of friendship, every relationship, every evil communication and association that does not bring him glory. Let it be broken today in the name of Jesus. Let it come to an end. We severe our ties with them. We disconnect relationship with them in the name of Jesus. We say no more in Jesus' name. Pray also and say, Father, wherever it is that I have gradually declined, 
as a result of my work with the wrong kind of association, by your mercy let there be restoration for me today in Jesus' name. Let us regain our place of intimacy and close work with the Lord. Ask for the grace today to unashamedly stand anywhere and anytime, no matter where we find ourselves in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our gracious Father, thank you for renewing and rekindling our love for you again. Thank you for pruning off every wrong kind of association and evil communication from our lives. Help us, Lord, never to keep distance from you again. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection in our devotional today that says, Are your current friends and associates bringing you closer to Jesus or compelling you to deny him every now and then? This is another deep question that we should ruminate over. Scrutinize yourself, give a sincere response and do the needful. Receive the grace today to comply in Jesus' name. Praise God. Our Bible in one year reading plan for today is to read from the book of 2 Kings chapter 24 down to 1 Chronicles chapter 1. Hallelujah. We are making progress. We would like to appreciate you for joining us today again. Thank you for coming around. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. Be reminded also that you can bless someone today by sharing this with them. As you go forth today, may you receive the grace to do away with every association that does not bring you closer to God. Our hymn for today is the hymn 6 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Oh my comrades, see the signal. Have a blessed week ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now. Comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcements now appearing, victory is nigh. Hold the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signals still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. See the mighty host advancing, Satan leading on. Mighty men around us falling, courage almost gone. Hold the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signal still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. See the glorious banner waving, hear the trumpet blow. In our leader's name we triumph over every foe. Hold the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signal still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. Yes, and long the battle rages, but our help is near. Onward comes our great commander, cheer, my comrades, cheer. Oh, the Lord, for I am coming, Jesus signal still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.